Riffleberger's Multi Saver, Multi Anchor, and Ring Loop. Multi Saver is an aluminium ring based friction saver. Adjust to the desired length using the Ring Loop 26 and install your climbing line. Multi Saver may also be used without the Ring Loop. Using the full length of Multi Saver helps to keep the climbing line away from the anchor stem or branches thus maintaining consistent friction in the climbing system as a climber maneuvers around the anchor point. A retrieval ball allows multi-saver to be retrieved remotely. Used in conjunction with the ring loop, both multi-saver and multi-anchor may be adjusted to create an anchor point on a tree stem. When installed properly, both ascending and descending are possible. Uninstall using the retrieval ball or, in some cases, a few flicks of the wrist will suffice. Here, the multi-anchor is wrapped on a stem. Notice that the leg closest the large ring must be placed over top of the other legs. Add a serious loop to the multi-anchor and build an adjustable and secure basal anchor. Positioning the carabiner or other connector close to the large anchor ring will aid in maintaining correct orientation of the piece. To ensure the security of the system, place an appropriate stopper knot below the prusik. The multi-anchor contains a floating ring so that an equalizing system may be built among two anchor points. When installed properly, this equalizing system may distribute forces among anchor points. However, it is imperative that the user understands these forces and how they act upon each anchor point. In any case, the angle created by the legs at the floating ring should not exceed 120 degrees. The retrieval ball will pass through the two larger rings and catch on the small ring. For retrieval options and controlling descent of hardware, please see the Teufelberger Pulley Saver video. A double or redundant anchor system is made possible by installing two ring loop 34s. The climbing line is secured through two independent anchors, and forces may be distributed among those anchors when the system is installed appropriately. Adjust the system based on the needs of each particular situation. During uninstallation, the retrieval ball passes through the three larger rings and catches on the small ring. Also, a ring loop 26 may be added to condense the length of the system. Separate climbing lines may be installed where a climber must use two independent positioning systems. Where two climbers use the system, Ensure that enough slack is present to allow for full range of motion by each. When removing this system, the climber tied into both large rings, here seen on the left side of the screen, removes his or her line first. Retrieval is then carried out by the other climber using a retrieval ball. Create an inline anchor system for both ascent and work positioning by installing a ring loop 34 on each leg of the ascent line. A climbing line secures the climber to the access line while foot locking. Once the climber reaches his or her desired position, they may shorten the distance with their climbing line and place an appropriate stopper knot beneath each ring loop. Remove the climbing line and the access line complete with ring loops can be removed from the tree. To avoid rope on rope interface, a ring loop 26 is installed and may be useful to reduce the spread between legs of an ascent line while foot locking. Place an appropriate stopper knot below the ring loop to create a choking system for single rope applications. Thanks for watching.